Now we got to come in here and do the bathrooms. So we have a full full height here, full height all along the front, full height on the back side. And then um, this is 12 foot, the middle wall is 12 foot. So we'll start by doing the full height walls, okay? Uh, I'm gonna slam the track in. I'm gonna bring the lift down the front, okay, to do the front wall. And then I'll do this this wall, that wall, and then I'll come in and, uh, with my bench or whatever and I'll just put this, the, I'll do the back wall, and then I'm gonna put this wall in the middle. Yeah, you'll see how it, how I do that. Okay, so got that wall done. Uh, it didn't go all the way up because there's a, it's like literally right where that angle is. So I attached the top track to the angle. Um, but yeah, with heavy gauge, you can see how we do headers, like a little cripple stud type things, six inch pieces. And uh, yeah, you don't do, uh, you don't do like um, uh, shoes with the, uh, you know with heavy gauge you, there is a way like you can cut or it's called rabbit ears um, but we don't do that we just use pieces of stud like cripple six inch pieces and then uh, yeah but for headers even like I just use shoes up there for that header even but you could do uh, rabbit ears or bunny ears or whatever they call it uh, for that at some point I'll show you guys those so because this one didn't go all the way up, I decided to change my layout. And as you can see, uh, originally I was going to have the, the piece, uh, the, the floater on this side. But now the floater will be on, will be the full height wall here. So this one will go all the way up to the Q deck. Um, it should stop just on the inside of this duct here. But yeah, we're going to get the side full height walls, full height, full height. And then this is 12 foot, the six inches 12 foot, and then there's a 12 foot three and five eighths in the middle, and then the ceiling at uh, nine foot in, in the back. So this is a 20 gauge again, full height walls. The, um, there's an angle up there, uh, of course, right in the middle of the wall. So I just shot my top slot track to that angle. When it comes to the drywall, I'm gonna, we can just run it wild up, use backing for the joints. Um, it, it's, yeah, you could put an angle maybe like up there, but you'll have to put braces and an angle, the braces will be visible. So yeah, I would just run the drywall up at this point. Um, headers, okay, on a with 20 gauge, I use little six inch pieces of stud, okay? I, I check for my high side and uh, square, square across elevation, okay? On everywhere, square across elevation, mark it with a marker. So I put my six inch piece a quarter inch above that. And uh, then, yeah, I can easily make sure it's square visually. Uh, clamp, clamp, screw it in it, screw it in, okay? So same thing over here right boom boom and uh yeah you're coming three quarters of an inch down for deflection so your studs are three quarter of an inch shorter it's so, um, like i was saying okay when i have a door uh doorways like this and the door swing inwards to the wall and it's a three and five eighths i put a one foot piece right there okay just one foot piece in the middle and then I then I lay out my doors. Okay, so these are 36 inches. So I went 38. Okay, I went two inches above. This is a six foot eight elevation. Okay, so I went 82 half for my headers. Okay, at a, for a six foot eight elevation for the door. Uh, and then that. So I say for a three foot opening, I go uh, 38 inches for the steel. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, yeah, so furring wall's done. We're gonna come in, we're gonna do this back six inch wall, uh, middle three and five eighths. And uh, there's a build out wall here, one at the front, and then this other furring wall, and then we're pretty much good to go. Now seeing that the three and five eighths wall is all the way up, 
I run the whole way with that and then the, this six inch is only 12 feet up so I'm gonna just run it on the inside so the all the way the wall that goes all the way up to structure okay I'm running it the full extent like the full way all right and boom same on both ends okay I'm gonna need clips here so I'm gonna measure uh, in between it's like seven inches tight so I'll go like six and seven eighths measured on both sides okay because I want to put a clip at the top at least at the top to catch the top track for the six inch wall okay so this piece is gonna give me my two clips all right so it's a it's a piece of stud all right so I, I'm gonna I've come in an inch and a quarter an inch and a quarter uh, this is my six and seven eighths inch and a quarter okay this is off cut and then again i got two two tabs in here i'm coming in inch and a quarter that part will go on the steel i've also squared it down on the side seeing that this is heavy gauge and i gotta cut all of it uh, i'm gonna do as, uh, as much as i can with the saw and then you'll see how i cut this off So 16 is coming in from uh, in from this corner here inward. Uh, I, you see, I've got a three-quarter inch space to slide drywall in for this end floater. Okay. Um, same thing on the other end here as well. Three quarters of an inch back for the floaters, and the drywall can come right in here. Okay, zip zip. I got my clips ready for both sides. Okay, I've cut the steel to fit right on the studs up at the 12 foot to catch the top track <clears throat> I've got one built for here okay so my next step now is to install all the clips I have top track ready to go for the heavy gauge for the three and five with lips that'll go over top of the clip okay with a tab sorry that'll go over top of the clip and I'll screw it down all right, and also same thing, I've, I've left three quarters of an inch on both sides for the drywall, okay? Three quarters of an inch dry, for your drywall to pass straight through, okay? Floaters, floaters. And when, you're, when we're drywalling this, we're gonna come around and lock in all the floaters first. So basically what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab a couple of, of the six inch studs here. And I'm just gonna clamp them in the ends so that I know where to put my clips. All right, so you can see I've just clamped in a six inch stud. So I know where to put the, the top clip in for the top track. Same thing on the other side, I clamped in a stud, okay? That's just so I know where to put the track in. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll just laser it across for the three and five eighths one. So straight as an arrow, you can see, boom. All right, with my clips. Screwed in down here on either end, it's looking good, right? So I got a clip on both sides and a fishtail in the middle. This is light gauge six inch actually, mixed into heavy gauge. That's all the supplier had. It. And you can see the three and five eighths wall. All right, so we got the the fish tail. This is screwed together, and then this is the top heavy gauge. So from I'm screwing through the light gauge into the heavy gauge here, and that's a heavy gauge clip. I'll show you next. I'm just screwing down. Same thing at the end. It was a heavy gauge clip screwing through the light gauge into the heavy gauge. All right. 
gotta figure it out, get in there and screw all them screw screws off. So go in that bit, that box in the back there, Ben, with your gloves on and, and get some of those little wafer screws. You'll see a pile of screws in the bottom of that box you'll see in the corner. Get out as many of the little black ones as we can find, okay? <sighs> yes, so, uh, yeah, you can see I got my layouts done on the ground. I'm lasering up the track, lasering up the layout. Uh, same, same deal up here with the clip. Okay, this is heavy gauge, right? Just screw this clip in and I'm screwing it down. You'll see down, right? But yeah, same thing over here, okay? And then yeah, I'll have a floater on each end for the drywall. The walls are complete, ironing squared and screwed off at the top and the bottoms. All right, okay, uh, except for my floaters, they're not. You can see now this wall's complete, the, the shell's complete, uh, and the middle wall's complete, so it's time to do the ceilings now. 